Hi guys and welcome back to the City Reviews and today we are taking a look at another pod system. Yes, it's another one, but it's a pod system in the true sense of the word pod system. It doesn't have replaceable coils, it's a locked pod. Now, it isn't. It, there's two types of systems. There's a closed pod system where the liquid is already in the pod and an open pod system is one that you can refill, but the coils are locked in place. Uh, there's two really stood out for me last year, well, last year, but six months, sort of the last six months, the UL Caliburn and the Smock Infinex. They were sort of... They were sort of head and shoulders above the rest in terms of quality, vapor production and what not. Um, we now have a version 2 of the Smock Infinex. And um, yeah, we're going to go down below guys. There's very, very little to see that's changed. So down below will be pretty quick. Uh, we'll come back up top, give it a few vapes and then I'll give you my pros and cons on Smock's version 2 of what was already a fucking superb piece of kit. So run the intro and go down below. Yay. <laughs> Okay, guys, so this is quite possibly going to be the fastest down below section we have ever done. Smack Infinix version 2. This is practically identical to the version number 1. So, taking off the outer sleeve. You're then presented with your user manual. Save these instructions. Warranty card. Silica gel. Okay, and this is the device. Um, so you do get two pods, okay? We have the one that I'm using, both the same ohms, okay? Both exactly the same, and that is the spur pod. Both of these are 1.2 ohm pods. Now, I do believe these are exactly the same pods from the Infinax version 1, but my only thing is I don't have any of them to hand, so I can't actually try the old pods in the new battery, but I would put 90% on it. They are the same pods. USB charging cable and the new Smack Infinex version 2 battery. Okay, so guys, very, very quickly indeed. Um, that one single LED light here, and it will uh, is just a battery indicator. So I believe it's green on 100 down to 70. I think it's blue 70 down to 30, and then red. Get it back on the charge right away. The new battery is a 450 milliamp hours. Uh, the Infinex version one was a 250 milliamp hours, and the pods just click in like so, and you get a little indication to let you know that pod has made a connection. And that's basically it guys very very simple the only differences that i can find so far with this is the extra battery another 200 milliamps added on from the previous one and i think it's putting out a wee bit more of a kick on a full charge uh the manual does say 15 watts down to 10 watts obviously as that battery depletes but um for me it, I, it, I could be wrong but i do believe it's slightly punchier than the infinix version one so guys that's probably much all there is to say let's take it back up top give it a few vapes and give you my final opinions on the smock infinix version 2 Yes. Okay, guys, we are back up top with the Smack Infinex version number two. So, where do we start with this? The Smack Infinex was sort of widely accepted as one of the best actual pod systems on the market and for good reason it was a very very good pod kit now there is hundreds of these stages of things on the market but more and more are coming with replaceable coils so it's more like an all-in-one and um, this is a pod in the full true sense of the word where once this is done you toss it now there is a way to rework these little buggers that'll be done in another video or just hunt on youtube you can't find it there and uh, the version 2 for me all i can find so far and there's very little information online about this but all i can find so far is that bigger battery life 450 milliamp hours with the infinex one i was only able to manage about two two and a half hours of normal use of vaping with this i've been able to get that up to about four hours throughout the course of the day i'm not vaping this uh exclusively i do manage to finish this off at, to the end of the day and um i'll plug it back on the charge for the next day but again i'm not using this exclusively um as for vapor and flavor Pretty much the same as the first one. For me, it could be wrong. I haven't got the first one here. I think it's hitting slightly harder. I do believe there's a wee bit more power going through this as there was opposed to the Infinax one. But um, yeah, 450 milliamp hours of what was already an epic little pod kit. 
That's a win. I will update this video, guys, to let you know if these are cross-compatible with the Infinix one. I'm pretty confident that they are. Um, I just don't have one to hand to try it out in this. Um, if I do manage to get my hands on some Infinix one pods, I will update the description down below. But, um, yeah, I do believe it takes the original Infinix coils. But, um, yeah, it's pretty much does what it says on the tin and it does it bloody well the infinax version number two this is sure to be a big hit cost of this little thing is going to be anywhere between twenty dollars and thirty dollars twenty pounds and thirty pounds somewhere in and around that bracket very very inexpensive and especially if you learn to rework them pods um running costs can get brought down but you can refill these about you'll get about 10 refills of these pods before they actually need chucked out but again that's dependent on your use and the liquid that you're using but ultimately guys for me the infinix 2 although it's pretty much more of the same that extra boost in battery life is a welcome improvement so hats off the smock for that and anybody who enjoyed the infinix version 1 is going to be absolutely delighted to uh, receive the ver version number 2 um so guys yeah that's it the smock infinix version 2 should be hit in the shelves within the next couple of weeks um huge thanks total vapor www.totalvapor.co.uk for sending out the infinax free for the purpose of this review guys always appreciate it you know i love you and um yeah guys for you watching all the way to the end um tell the lot of guys hit the subscribe to the let's try that again if you haven't already guys hit that subscribe button's gonna go somewhere up there link to the last video upload to the channel is gonna go somewhere down here and yeah guys hope you all have a lovely day have a good one take care and bye <laughs> I didn't actually give this a rating, did I? For a open pod system out of 10, 8. 8 out of 10. It's very, very good. Yeesh.